What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Hopefully, it will be later on today. I am sitting on the parking lot of a Publix grocery store. Um, I stopped here to pick up a couple of things before heading to uh, my next campground, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away from Orlando, where I am now. And I thought that I would try some sushi. These are California spicy rolls. And um, I sat there and I watched the Asian people prepare some of these sushis. And I thought, let me try some. I can count on one hand how many times I've eaten sushi. So I'm gonna sit here at, uh, in my van and eat these uh, sushi. And then I'm going to take my time and head to the campground. I don't want to get there too early and then they tell me I can't check in until a certain time, yada, yada, yada. But it would be nice if I get there around 1, 1.30 and they let me check in because I'll have a lot of daylight left to set up and then, you know, do whatever I want to do for the rest of the day. So I was going to get the chopsticks and try that, but y'all know me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already know me and them chopsticks, uh, chopsticks, and I did not feel like going through the struggle. So we're going to go ahead and finger it out. Oh, they look like they're falling apart. Let me see. Oh, they stuck together. All righty, get off of there. There we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have rice all up in between these dentures, bro. Mm, I can tell already. Mm. Well, that's indeed. And I only ate one. That was pretty good. Wowza. That was good. Mmm. I am still learning how to eat certain foods with my dentures. Rice is probably the biggest challenge because they're so tiny when they get all down in there. But I did better with that second piece. <laughs> These are really good. So my next campground, I will be there for about Wow, nine or 10 days. And then I'm going to leave there, go to the Tampa RV show. Speaking of the Tampa, uh, Tampa RV show, remember I like to have our first 2023 meetup at the Tampa RV show. So if you are in the Tampa area and you've always wanted, or even if it was a curiosity to go to the Tampa RV show, this will be a great time to come out and hang out with me and we walk around and look at some RVs and everything. I think it's going to be so much fun if a handful of you guys come out and join me as we walk around and check out the latest. You can tell, you can tell that these were freshly made. You can tell they were freshly made. I mean, the freshness is bursting in your mouth. Mm. 
comes with um, like some soy sauce. I don't know if I would like that on there because I know what soy sauce tastes like. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up the rest of this sushi and then I'm going to mosey on and take my time to the campground. I need to stop at a Home Depot on my way there too because I want to get some ant spray. At the last campground I was at, there was a lot of ants around. I saw a lot of ants and some I've got into. Remember my tacos, my box of tacos? Th thankfully, I looked inside that box before I packed it away because it was full of ants in there. So I want to get some ant spray and spray on the ground around me. Oh, I need to get some mothballs as well. I personally have never had problems with mice at a campground or any other place while I'm out and about, but I'm gonna see if they have some um, mothballs, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to get any. I should have checked in here in Publix while I was there, but I'm not going back in there. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the campground. All right, guys, I just checked in. Now I'm heading to my site, site 301. Let's see if I can remember where this, <laughs> let's see if I can remember where this, uh... all right, which one of these things are working? Cause this one. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other one. Last time I came here, last time I came here, this one was working and the other one wasn't. And the woman was like, go to the next one. Oh my girl, what you doing here anyway? <laughs> I'm thinking, what you doing here anyway? <laughs> I go to the next one. Alrighty. I think I can remember where it is. Site 301. Now, last time I came here, the tent areas were not marked. Just the four sites, not tent, the van, the four van sites were not marked. And I was the last of the four to arrive, so I had to take what was left. So let's see. Tell a girl in there. Oh, I know which I know where it is. Now here I am. Nothing looks familiar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Serious, y'all. Nothing looks okay. Here it is. Alrighty. There's nobody here. Oh, they got okay. They put fi they put fire pits here now. What's 301? I'm the only one that won't. Oh, they got two fire pits. Let's see if they marked them. If so, I mean, if not, three. Oh, God, I got a kink in my neck. Jimmy crack corn. I'm going to take this site right here. All right, guys, I arrived at the uh, four van sites that they have, and I'm the only one here. Now my site is 301. Now I don't know if 301 is these sites. Once again, they didn't have them uh, marked when I came here in November and they still don't have them marked. I see they added two fire pits for the end uh, sites. So I'm gonna show you guys the two sites. I don't know whether the site to my left is 301 or the site to my right. S301. All right, this is the space here for site to my left, my far left. 
I see they added a fire pit right there. That right there is the electrical post for this site. This site is probably the biggest site, but it has a hill right there, which means I would not be able to park my van there, nor put like uh, a gazebo and or a canopy. Now let's walk a little bit up this way. And this is the end site to my right. One of these sites is the first site, but since I'm the first one here, no one else here, I'm going to decide which one of these is 301. All right, because last time I was here, I was in 303, but I was the last one to arrive, like I said, and I had this spot right here along this tree. I was the second one. All right, this is the other, the opposite side. Now, right there is the electrical post for that. Have a fire pit right here. And this is this space. This space looks much smaller, but it's, it's flatter. And I will be able to probably put my van up front and then put my canopy in the back of my van. I will not have space for a gazebo. <clears throat> All right, guys, I decided on the site furthest to the left um, where the little slant is. Uh, this is how I parked my van. So when I open my side door, I'll enter and exit from here. I think I'm going to put my gazebo up right in this space. I'm not gonna put the can canopy up. I'm just gonna put the gazebo up and I'll put my table and everything and my chair on the inside of that. Take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. Dim guy. Don't got nothing on you. Don't got nothing on you. My heart is ready for something I have been had in a long time. True love crime. My hope you know that it may hurt for a while. Let's slow down, slow down. I can see behind that broken smile. Nice, sweet, smooth, like Coco Bray. Coco Bray. You're nice, sweet, smooth, like Coco Bray. Coco Bray. You're nice, like Coco. You're nice, like Coco Bray. Like Coco Bray. You're nice, like Coco. All right, now that I have it up, I'm gonna put these poles on each side of the doorway to stabilize that a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go back on the outside and pull out the bottom flaps to make sure that nothing can come from underneath, from the outside to the inside.
All right, hopefully I'll be able to find some bricks or something so that I can put on around the base to help keep everything, oh, excuse me, from coming up. Um, I should have brought the bricks that I had from the last campground because I found some. I should have brought those with me. But now it's up. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my table put in. That was a workout. Get my table put in, my chairs put in, or my one chair. I don't know guys, should I should I cook in here? I mean it's plenty of ventilation all the way around. I guess depending on what I cook. I don't really cook foods once again, I don't really cook foods that like produce a heavy smoke like I'm frying something. I usually do stuff like saute and stuff. So we'll see. It would be nice to be able to cook in here, but I guess I'll have to see. I have definitely got to find me a Dollar Tree and get me some carpet or something. Ah, uh, and a broom. Let me show y'all this floor. Can y'all see all that sand that's in here? I definitely need something. Look at that. What's the point in having a floor down so you can walk in here without your uh, shoes on if all of this is happening? I can already tell now I'm gonna need some bricks because I can see when it, if it rains, I can see where water, cause that's not, that's not flat over that side around all the way around it's not flat i can see where some water can seep up in here so i need to go out and find some stuff all right guys i changed my mind i can't i can't deal with all this sand on this site i'm gonna drag everything up to <laughs> i'm gonna drag everything up to that other site and see what that site looks like with this gazebo on it <laughs> both of my refrigerators one on this one and one on that one I wish I would have thought about it when I stopped at Home Depot because I probably could have bought some bricks from Home Depot. I need some bricks.
All right. They are up and running, both of them. So now my refrigerators will remain running. My power boxes, power stations will not go dead on me. They will forever be charging. All right. All right. Both of my refrigerators are packed with food. So I'm all set with the food. Got lots of choices. Ah. Nice and cold. All right, I think that about does it. All right, I'm not gonna put these road uh, roadies on the sliding doors just yet because it's going to be a chilly night tonight and tomorrow night, and then it start being like 50 and above at night. So I'm just gonna keep these in there until my third night here. All right, I'm gonna light this up because I already see a whole bunch of flies and stuff around, or gnats, I should say. All right, let's light this up. And I also have these, don't forget I have these. I'm gonna just play it by ear and see if I need to put one of these up. But for now, I'm not gonna put it up. All right guys, this is a overview look of this campsite setup that I have here. I have my gazebo up, my car is backed in. I still have access to cook on my storage box, swing it out. Some would suggest that I swing it out so that my license plates won't be shown when I'm cooking. And then on the inside here, it's pretty cozy. Let me step out some so I can show you guys. I have my two fridge right there, my two power stations, my table, and my chair. I brought out a couple of things so that I can cook in here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I am beat. Uh, everything is set up. I like this setup for the uh, space that I have. I can hop in my minivan and take off and leave my gazebo here and leave my things inside of my gazebo, come back, back back into my spot and I'm good to go. Um, man, I don't even know what I'm going to eat today. I am beat. The only thing I ate today so far is that sushi. Sushi, it is it's still early in the day because I got here, I think, around 2 o'clock. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead now and walk around the campsite and see if I can find some bricks so that I can lay around the base of the gazebo. And then that's going to do it for me. As always, guys, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I will see you guys the next time. I'm super excited to do some cooking videos for you guys while I'm here at this campsite. See you guys the next time.